Hello, and before we get to today's video, I want to take a second to thank you guys, because you have been absolutely fucking awesome. All of the love and the likes and the subscriptions that have hit the channel in the last two months since I started doing this thing have been a blast. I love reading your guys' comments, and I love getting into discussions with you and seeing your opinion on not only Marvel things, but anime things as well. Thank you for stopping by the channel. The road to 1,000 subscribers before the end of the year continues. If you are a new subscriber or a new viewer, go ahead and hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell, and turn on your notifications, and let's get into it. It is super fucking late, but there is so much to unpack right now. All right, there, this, this was the best episode of Marvel's What If. And I know a lot of people were like hoping that Marvel What If didn't need a main villain, but holy shit, Multiversal Ultron with the Infinity Gauntlet is a fucking beast. And I mean a complete beast. I knew that the entire tempo of this episode was gonna be set to 11 when Thanos showed up and he just sliced him in half. Just instantaneously. Turned around, was like, who the fuck are you? Zoop, done. I was like, okay, we are dealing with a threat. We are dealing with a next level threat. But the episode just kept getting better and better. Across the board, it just kept getting better and better. He uses all of the Infinity Stones to just create a legion of Ultron bots across the entire planet in a matter of a second. He creates like a battle world in the sky, then takes the battle world and teleports to like all these different locations that we've seen in the MCU before. Asgard, dusted, uh, the planet that the Guardians of the Galaxy were protecting in Volume 2, dusted, um, the Nova Corps planet, dusted, the planet that the Grand Inc Quizzer is on, Sakaar, dusted, and he just dusts everything, literally wipes out Ego wipes out all life in the universe, brings quiet to the universe. But the thing that I love the most is that once again, the Watcher gets gerbated. And we saw it during the Doctor Strange episode where Strange is mourning over the fact that he's not gonna be able to save Christine, that his world is essentially about to end. And the Watcher is just watching and refuses to intervene. But this time, he has no choice whatsoever. And I mean no choice whatsoever. Because the second Ultron becomes aware of the fact that the Watcher is there watching, he's instantly the thing that stares back in the abyss. And it scares the shit out of Uatu. And I absolutely love it. I love the fact that like the second he realizes that Ultron is looking at him, he immediately freaks. And he tries to like change the channel. But it's already too late. You've let Ultron know that this vast network of multiverses essentially exists. Now, there is a little bit of playing fast and loose which is going on in the sense that the Infinity Stones only work in the universe that they are native from. The fact that Ultron was more or less able to continue using the Infinity Stones as he was beating Uatu the Watcher's face in across the multiverse is a little bit of a stretch. It's, it's a big stretch. It's a big leap. Now, one of the arguments that could be made is that he was beating the hell out of Uatu with his own power, and he wasn't essentially using the stones. We never see him use the stones to... He uses the stones to emit an energy blast from his chest but we never see him bend reality or anything along those lines outside of his native multiverse. I also love the fact that their fight happens across different multiverses. Uh, their first fight takes place in a multiverse where Steve Rogers becomes president. Then their second fight happens in a world where it looks like Wakanda is the main civilization across the planet. Um, can we go back to this world in a future What If episode just to see what a world ruled by Wakandan royalty for 2,000 years would look like. Thank you very much. Um, kicks his ass into another world that looks as though it's in ancient London. Then there's a world that's completely ruled by the scrolls. Then they're in like another destination. Then they're back in the desert. I fucking love it. 
they took the stakes and they cranked that bad boy up to 20 because I really didn't know what to expect going into this episode. Like there was a little bit of promotional stuff happening online in regards to a little bit of hype about Ultron being like this big villain and the big man for this episode. But yo, Marvel, this is the Age of Ultron that we wanted. If Age of Ultron started like this, with just this super powerful Ultron that got Vision's body, laid waste to the entire planet, and basically it followed more of the comic book storyline where Nat and Clint have to essentially go into the past to prevent this like apocalypse from happening, I'd be here for it. Bring this back. Give me an Age of Ultron movie. Give me an actual Age of Ultron movie that deals with everything that leads up to this. Oh my god. Damn. Star Wars Visions is popping. Friggin' Shang-Chi was popping. Like, the new MCU that's going on in the background is popping. I'm fucking loving it. Like, these Disney Plus shows have been absolutely crushing it. What If kind of took... There were some hit and miss episodes for me in regards to What If, but holy fuck. Yes. <laughs> yes. Give me more of this, please. Please give me more of this. I need to see him come back. One of the only gripes I can honestly say, and we're at the end of the video right now, is the fact that it's not James Spader doing the voice. It looks like we have a new Ultron voice, but man, bring Spader back. If we're going to be getting Ultron again, try and get James Spader to come back. Blacklist is ending soon, or it's already over, or something along those lines. We can definitely get James Spader in a, in a, in a booth for a session to record these lines. But yeah, man. What If, I don't even remember the, name, the number of the episode, the most recent episode of What If, it's on my mind, like, my mind is absolutely fucking blown, it's a blast, go check it out, if you were, if you were iffy about What If before, I would say make this your intro episode, check out What If, start with this episode if you were iffy on it before, then go back and check out all the other ones, or just be a purist, start from episode one, and just know that by the time you reach Ultron, by the time you reach Ultron, this shit is gonna be amazing. Peace.